Tonight, the fight for higher wages for Denver Public School workers continues. Staff, including paraprofessionals, nutrition and maintenance workers, and groundskeepers are asking for $20 an hour for their work supporting students. In negotiations, the district is proposing a plan to get minimum wage to $20 per hour in three years. Right now, that minimum wage sits at $15.87. Tori Mason following these negotiations tonight. Tori, a deal is a ways off. Yes, Karen, and these workers are essential to schools and they're still struggling to make ends meet. Prices are rising and DPS is not backing down. That's $15 an hour. That's how much paras like Carolina Garvan make at DPS. We take care of the kids, we teach them, we nurture them, we give them love and care. Hundreds like her take care of students while food joints are willing to pay them more. The necessities are getting more expensive every day and the gas, the food, everything is so expensive. DPS workers are asking for a raise, 20 bucks an hour. When board member Tay Anderson was a para, he made around 12. We're asking people to come to work for $15 an hour and pay gas $5 a gallon. Neighboring districts are paying more. DPS has struggled to hire and retain workers. Anderson says they need to meet their demands. If we are, have not reached a deal to where $20 an hour has been agreed to upon by, by both parties, I'm ready to reintroduce that executive limitation to immediately raise to $20 an hour. Perez and other workers have picked up jobs to make ends meet. The food in the kitchens, I mean, the school, the bus drivers, the custodians who, make a, who keep our schools clean. They know better paying jobs exist, but passion is still worth more than money for now. Teaching kids is my passion and I always dream of it since I was a little kid. So DPS is willing to pay $20 an hour, but not until 2024. They presented a plan with increased wages over the next few years to get them to $20 an hour. But for workers, they say that's not good enough. The next negotiations will take place in July. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First.